Cutting household waste is being used instead of increasingly expensive diesel to run fleets of lorries here in the south. The biggest landfill site in Surrey is being used to produce methane gas, which is filtered and used as vehicle fuel, the first place in Europe to do so. The DIY chain B&Q is running 50 lorries on it, and other companies are trying it too, tapping into energy that would otherwise just vanish. Our transport correspondent Paul Clifton has more. Albury, near Guildford, is by far the biggest landfill site in Surrey. Tens of millions of tonnes of household waste, slowly rotting. That releases methane gas. It is collected in these pipes. They work like wells drilled into the rubbish. Nearby, it is purified and chilled until it becomes liquid at minus 160 degrees Celsius. This is the only place in Europe producing liquid biomethane and potentially the landfill site here could power 1300 lorries a year for the next decade. The fuel is taken away by tanker. It is blended with imported liquefied natural gas. The two products are chemically identical. Firstly we can deliver savings in, in cash, real terms cash, of uh, around about 20% compared to diesel at, at current prices. But Importantly, we can also deliver significant carbon savings as well, somewhere between 20 and 30 per cent. 90 miles away, in Swindon, the biomethane is being used to power a fleet of 50 B&Q lorries. This vast depot, the size of 20 football pitches, supplies all stores in southern and southwest England and Wales. The lorries run on both diesel and gas. The cost of converting a lorry is around £25,000. The fuel is cheap enough to pay that back in two or three years. Are these any different to drive? No, absolutely no difference whatsoever. Once the vehicles come up into dual fuel mode, you don't even recognise it. This is one of those happy coincidences when it is cheaper overall to run these trucks than conventional trucks, but also it delivers a big environmental benefit. B&Q is the biggest customer for biomethane. But Tesco, Sainsbury's and Coca-Cola have all tried it out. Its makers say the landfill fuel is commercially viable, cheaper than diesel and largely going to waste. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today.